Hey baby, if you drive trucks, you already know where I'm at, especially if you ever been to California. All right, what are some dirty things that cops do to truck drivers? Well, let's say you get pulled over. Let's say he doesn't like you or she doesn't like you. Let's say you guys argue about what happened, right? And you have a solid base argument or they can't prove that you did what they say you did. Truck drivers have something called CSA points, right? Regular drivers have points on their license. And then there's a separate category. It's called CSA, safety. What the police officers will do is they don't write you a ticket. They write you a warning. And the reason why they do this is because you can't get a warning removed. You can't go to a judge and fight a warning. You get no points to your license, but you get points on your CSA score. High points, most likely. So, if you're a truck driver and a police officer doesn't like you, during any stage of the interaction, they'll just write you a warning and mess up either you or the company's CSA score. And it makes it difficult to get a job in the trucking industry. It also hurts carriers. Um, and you know what? I think the responsibility is actually on the carrier. Because coming from a driver's perspective, right? Unless I have my own authority and whatnot, I'm just one person. I'm just one slave in the game. Trucking companies are multi-million, sometimes multi-billion dollar companies. They stand a better chance in court. They can hire better lawyers. They can make a difference, make a push. Way better than individual drivers can.